Okay, I think we are recording. This is Tamara. It is Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, and we're doing the A to Z series. So we're talking about fennel this evening, because we're up to the Fs, so we're talking about fennel. Um, and like I said, my name is Tamara, and I am from Our Big Oily Family on Facebook, and we'd love for you to come like the page there and uh, enjoy all the posts that are there about essential oils and how you can use them and things like that. So usually with these, I start whoops, with the Emotions and Essential Oils book. Um, so fennel is the oil of responsibility. Fennel supports the individual who has a weakened sense of self. The individual may feel defeated by life's responsibilities, having little to no desire to improve their situation. Fennel reignites a passion for life. It encourages the soul to take full ownership and responsibility for its choices. Fennel teaches that life is not too much or too big to handle. Fennel encourages an individual to live in integrity with themselves, despite the judgment of others. When one has been paralyzed by fear and shame, this oil gets them moving again. Fennel reestablishes a strong connection to the body and the self when there has been weakness or separation. Fennel also supports an individual in listening to the subtle messages of the body. This is especially important in situations where there has been a loss of connection to the body's natural signals due to emotional eating, severe dieting, eating disorders, or drug abuse. Through attunement with the body's actual needs, fennel curbs craving for, cravings for experiences that dull the senses. This oil then supports the individual in hearing the body's signals of hunger, thirst, uh, satiation, tiredness, or exhaustion. Fennel is also supportive in regaining one's appetite for nourishment, food, and life itself. So the emotions addressed are lack of desire, unwilling to take responsibility for self or life, shame, weak sense of self, and numb to body signals. The companion oils, and the companion oils are the oils that you could choose to use if you didn't happen to have fennel on hand for the same purposes. Uh, the companion oils then are digestive blend, grapefruit, ginger, and joyful blend, which is cheer. I believe it's the joyful blend. And the digestive blend is uh, digest them. So that's that. Now I have my notes. All right. So it has a black licorice aroma is what fennel is really known for. When you open the bottle and you take a whiff, that's just... Uh, what it's known for. And I'm going to share my screen because I forgot to do that. So hang on just a sec. I've got a nice graphic for you to look at. There we go. So this uh, grows up to six feet. It has delicate, the plant has delicate feathery leaves and it's a, excuse me, evergreen perennial native in the Mediterranean. A lot of people grow it in their gardens now, but that's where it's originally from. Goes back to Roman times. Warriors consumed fennel to make them strong and ready for battle. And it was called fenkel in the medieval times, very popular herb with ancient Chinese, Egyptians, and Romans who felt it actually conveyed longevity, courage, and strength and warding off of spirits. So as you can see on the, uh, uh, geez, the graphic here, there we go, if I can find words today. Um, it is steam distilled from the crushed fennel seeds and the, uh, would well, that be the Latin name, I guess, is Foneculum vulgari. So the main chemical components are benzene, and I think it's anetol, and limonene. Let's see, helps with GI discomforts, occasional GI upset, feelings of being bloated, and things like that. It is a nice add to Clary Sage or Clary Calm for that time of the month to help ease some of the symptoms of that time of the month and also menopausal symptoms. Helps support a healthy lymphatic system. You can use it for minor skin irritations and it can be used, like it says on the graphic here, aromatically, topically, and internally. This is an oil that you do want to dilute whenever you do use it. Um, so you could use a little bit of coconut oil or fractionated coconut oil and uh, with a couple drops of the fennel. So, where was I in my notes here? So this um, fennel is found in Clary Calm blend, and it's also found in the digestive blend, Digest Zen. And you can definitely smell it in the Digest Zen. I definitely get the licorice smell. Um, blends well with lavender, peppermint, basil, cinnamon, and lime. 
It also blends well with geranium, lemon, rosemary, and sandalwood. So you could probably make some really good uh, diffuser blends from that. So safety is, like I said, you want to dilute it because it has that little S there where it says sensitive. Um, and that just means you always dilute the oil, but any essential oil, I just always recommend diluting it with just a little bit of a carrier oil. Uh, you have less evaporation and you can put it over a bigger area topically, which is nice. And you've also lessened any chance of skin sensitivity that you might have to any of the oils. So this is not for use with uh, epileptics or if you have a history of seizures, this oil is not recommended to be used. Um, and there are other ones that you can use. Um, so if you have those conditions, then depending on your use for this oil, the substitutes can include juniper berry, basil, lemon, or cardamom essential oils. All right. So it does help you curb uh, sweet cravings. So you can use a toothpick and swirl it in the top, in the top of the uh, little reducer there, because there's always oil after you've taken a drop out in there. You can swirl it around and chew on the toothpick for a little bit. You could also put a uh, drop in a glass, a four ounce glass of water, and then kind of swish it around in your mouth and then swallow. Uh, this oil can be used to help promote breast milk production. Um, so you could put a couple of drops along with uh, olive oil or almond oil, whatever's in your kitchen, put a couple of drops in those two piece capsules and then put it together and take that internally. And that'd be a good way to help boost your uh, milk production. Mm -hmm. I find where I'm on my notes now. Uh, okay, so for fluid retention, if you have a little bit of maybe mild swelling in your ankles or anything like that, uh, you can massage fennel and grapefruit essential oils uh, topically over the affected areas, or you could again put them in a two piece capsule and take them internally. I do have some recipes. Uh, there is fennel body butter and fennel cuticle balm and a fennel lotion bar recipe. And I will put those recipes below the replay in the comments. So be sure and look at the comments uh, below. And if you are watching the replay and you have used fennel for something other than um, what I mentioned and you had good uh, results from that, please share with everyone and post it in the comments. Next week, we are talking about, let me get my list here, uh, Forgive, which is one of the emotional aromatherapy blends. And so that's what we will talk about next week. Uh, next Wednesday is uh, Forgive Then, 7 o'clock. Always going to be on Wednesday nights now. And um, yeah, so I hope to see you there. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you have a lovely evening. And I will uh, see you later.